more Mr. Liquid, how are you doing today? Good morning. Uh, I'm fine. Generally, we just cut to the chase and get to club so I can get back to work. Uh, you must be a workaholic then, aren't you? Yeah, some people say yeah. So, I heard you just recovered from your seizure today. Uh, yeah, it just happened the other day. Um, I was just in my office and then it just happened. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it, what it could have been. Do you have any idea? Yeah, um, unfortunately, sir, there's not an easier way to put this, but you are currently suffering from epilepsy. Epilepsy, that's it. I thought, well, I thought it would have been cancer, but yeah. Well, it may not be cancer, but it's still quite concerning. Okay, can you tell me more? Well, epilepsy is a disorder where nerve cells in your brain are disturbed, causing seizures that can be triggered through flashing lights, for example. Um, doctor, I'll be fine, I assure you. Well, I don't doubt you will be fine, but you're currently, you know, if you don't take precautions, uh, it may prove detrimental to your health. What field do you work in? I'm actually a software engineer, basically just at the screen all day. Hmm. Well, that job may prove difficult in your new condition. May I tell you some of the conditions you may be uh, facing? Well, the risks that can follow your condition, as you see here, are change in moods or behaviors. You can have sleeping issues, but obviously you don't want to have that while tired on the job. Uh, your memory, as well as I mentioned earlier, seizures. Mood behaviors, like, um, like what? Well, you can suffer from anxiety, depression, and intrusive suicidal thoughts. No, this, this can't be real. Well, unfortunately, sir, this is quite real. I have a question to ask you, Oliver, just a really quick question. Do you know how you may have acquired your condition? Well, I mean, I don't really know. I was just working one day and it just happened. Uh, does anyone in your family by any chance suffer from epilepsy? Uh, no doctor. Hmm. Do you by any chance suffer from possibly any, you know, mental disorders such as ADHD, autism, maybe bipolar disorder even? Well, I was diagnosed with ADHD when I was 12. Do you think that could possibly be it? Well, uh, if you're currently still with it, as you said you are, uh, mental disorders can cause epilepsy. There's a huge trace to it. And someone in your family could possibly have ADHD, for all we know, and that's possibly how you have it. And sport ADHD can produce and create epilepsy. Wow, so this is this is a real thing then. How, how does it affect my job? I need this job to survive. I don't have anyone else to support me. Well, I know you must be worried. I know you're having no one to support you. It must really stress you out, I'm sure, right? Rest assured, I will be here to assist you as well as any other medical provider in our reach. And there's also a treatment to all this. I hope you know this. There's a treatment? Well, yes, it's called resective surgery. I'm sure you don't know what that means. Allow me to elaborate. Uh, resective surgery, as you can see here, is a surgery process where surgeons will basically go into remove the surgery in your brain and remove a small portion of the temporal lobe, which controls your hearing and your, you know, your memory. Right? Most that undergo this treatment recover, but there is not a hundred percent guarantee. Another treatment I can offer is a change in diet, as well as medications we can prescribe to you. And how does it sound to y'all? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to afford this. I don't have the best health insurance. Well. Sir, luckily for you, we have several contacts for you to reach out to. We can give you all that information by the end of the session, and if you require some assistance, they will be there for helping you. Okay, so does it mean you'll give me your contact information too? Correct. This does mean that exactly. As your medical provider at this moment, and until further notice, I will give you my direct contact information by the end of our session. That way you can reach out to me anytime, whether it be phone number or email. Are there any other treatments that may work? Uh, I would also recommend another one here. Hold on, right here. It says laser in uh, interstitial therapy, thermal therapy, my bad mistake, also known as LITT. Basically, the surgeon will use a laser pinpoint to destroy a small portion of brain tissue using a magnetic resonance imaging, which is basically an MRI. Basically, it's a magnetic imagery that we use on a screen that basically you can see inside your brain, and that we can pinpoint location and destroy the tissue. Is there not anything less invasive? I'm afraid not, but uh, this is the only way the surgery can be done. It has to be done through the brain for it to destroy the tissue that is currently harming the brain. But 
Any other treatment we can offer doesn't necessarily cure the problem. It just makes the symptoms less, bear, uh, less and more bearable and does not really solve the problem. Uh, how are you feeling, sir? You seem a bit distraught. I can only imagine how you could feel. Yeah. Not good at all. Hmm. Well, so did you hear this? It's not good news that I came in here, maybe thinking there was something minor, and now hearing all this, I just, this could be life changing. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sorry for your such despair, and job means so much to you, especially with everything going on in your life. With no people to depend on you, rest assured, we are here for you through and through. Whether it be social workers, providers, or even the hospital, everyone is here for you to help you get through this. Thank you, Doctor. I can't, I can't um, express how much this support means to me, especially at such a hard time like this. Um, do you have any further questions to ask? What changes do I have to make to my life to get better? Well, you can start by, as I said earlier, by changing your diet, right? As you see here, eating healthy foods such as vegetables, fruits, can allow your brain to be have less of a chance to suffer from epilepsy. You can also try to get seven to eight hours of sleep, which you should be doing already, considering that you would work a hard job. Rest is very important. And if you are taking any other medication that may be set from ADHD. I don't know if you're going to be taking any medications for it, but if you do so, let us know. We, at the very end of the session, you can write down any of the medications you take. We'll take those in the notification and we'll let you know which ones you should be taking and how many you should be taking. And when and if um, other symptoms arise, what can I do to reduce them? Oh, well, I would recommend exercising and do not use substance abuse. This meaning no cigarettes, no excessive alcohol, just no other like harmful possibilities, right? And is it also important to ensure that your stress levels are kept low? I also recommend, as you see here, uh, to keep focusing that to keep focusing on yourself and keep some time away from work, maybe four to six weeks so we can actually run a few tests and see if you're actually capable of going back to work in your condition just until further notice. So you're saying you have to take some time off? Yes, I think that would be absolutely recommended. Just make sure you keep that time on yourself, four to six weeks, and let, come in for testing that we'll probably ask you to, see what's going on, how severe the epilepsy is, but we'll do everything in our power to do so. I must also let you know that the medication we will be prescribing will in fact affect your ability to have children. I don't know if you plan to have children, do you? I actually did. Me and my wife were just talking about it, just in the beginning stages, but we were both very excited to give birth. Yeah. That's, I'm sorry to tell you that all this, but that is a huge possibility. It can affect it, but it's not 100% guaranteed. So we'll do everything in our power for eventually you being able to do this. If by all accounts, we'll do our absolute best. Granted, once again, it's not 100% infertility, but there is a chance that you won't be able to do it. We'll do everything in our absolute power to make sure your family's wishes come true. Thank you, that really means a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have any other questions, perhaps about social workers? Um, if I were to have any other questions, can I contact you, or are there some other people I can get in contact with? Certainly. Everything you are going through is very important. And no matter what, you should always reach out to either medical providers, professionals, or even social workers. Whether it be the most littlest of things, perhaps maybe your leg was broken from possibly having a possible seizure, or and you need this work from social workers. We will be there to assist you every step of the way. Uh, do you have any further questions you'd like to ask or anything you'd like to talk about whatsoever? Um, I was wondering actually, when you said that um, the surgery will be worked on the part of my brain that affects my memory, does that mean that I may suffer from memory loss? So, so what you're asking me is if the surgery that is being worked on affects that your part of your brain that affects memory and hearing, are you asking if epilepsy has a tie-in to met your memory and hearing. Is that correct? It is. Yes, All right. Well, as you see here, yes, epilepsy can affect your memory and can make you forget or confuse certain information that you have stored. What can I do to ensure my memory is kept intact? Well, first off, you can start by doing some pattern strategies, memory strategies to basically memorize things, whether it be matching symbols, simply playing, you know, like playing games, like whether it be the board games and stuff like that, nothing like TV. Like board games, for example, matching symbols, uh, even go fish to be an example, because you're matching cards. Do you have any further questions before we conclude our session here? No, doctor, I believe that's it. Well, I just want to go over everything with you one more time. Yeah. Okay.
So let me go over it right here. So let me, let me look at this real quick. You are suffering from epilepsy, which is when you, your nerve cells in your brain are disturbed causing seizures. And I recommend two treatments to you, whether it be, which is your diet change and a surgery inside your brain. Remember, the surgery in your brain, the two I recommended, LITT, right, and the temporal lobe surgery, right, those two will be invasive into your brain, where the other one more reduces the symptoms and makes it more favorable with epilepsy. I also recommend that you take four to six weeks off work and take the medication that we prescribed to you based on everything we have. And remember, this may affect your fertility, but it is not a guarantee you will become infertile. Is there anything else you'd like me to cover before we end off here? I think I'm, I'm good for me. Okay. Well, very much. Thank you. He's like, we will be here for you every step of the way. I hope you know this. Remember, Mr. Lugo, we are here for you. Thank you. Very much. Yes, sir. He's like, we look forward to being working with you every step of the way. There you go. That's it. Perfect. Let's see how this goes. Oh no!